Oh, hello. Welcome back to the Off Liars Group. If you're into aviation history, it's a good chance you'll know the name John Theodore Cuthbert Moore Brabazon. What a remarkable man. Born February 1884 in London and schooled in engineering at Trinity College, though not graduating. He worked as an unpaid mechanic for Charles Rolls of Rolls Royce fame before taking an apprenticeship with Darac in Paris, where they built motor vehicles and aero engines. Whilst in France, he flew solo in a Voisin biplane in November 1908. Six months later, he became the first resident Englishman to pilot a heavier than air powered machine. What an honour to be issued with pilot certificate number one from the Royal Aero Club. Yet there's more to this man, so let us explore his story. He knew the Wright brothers, the Short brothers, Charles Rolls. In his short built Wright biplane, he carried aloft a pig to prove indeed that pigs could fly. When Charles Rolls was killed in an aircraft accident, his wife persuaded him to give up flying. That's understandable. However, at the outbreak of World War I, he joined the Royal Flying Corps. He served on the Western Front, playing a role in aerial photography and reconnaissance. He was promoted to Lieutenant Colonel and decorated with the Military Cross. Post-war, he became a Conservative Member of Parliament. With World War II looming, he was strongly opposed to war with Germany, being in contact with fascist Oswald Mosley. Not many people realised that Mosley became within 77 votes of beating Neville Chamberlain in the 1924 general election. Small wonder then that Churchill called upon Brabazon in Britain's hour of need to become Minister of Transport and Minister of Aircraft Production in this World War II cabinet. Brabazon was forced to resign in 1942 for proposing that he wished Germany and Russia would destroy each other in that battle. That year he was promoted to the House of Lords as Baron Brabazon of Tara. In 1942, Winston Churchill flew to the Moscow Conference in the freezing Bombay of a Consolidated Liberator bomber, which gave him plenty of time to ponder and to realise that Britain lacked a modern airliner. He tasked Brabazon in 1943 to organise a committee to develop the post-war British aircraft industry. This was far-sighted for its time. Britain was in the middle of World War II. In fact, Britain was engaged in a life and death struggle, yet thinking about life after that war. Theirs was an effort to create an air transport industry where none had existed. Imperial Airways had focused on upper-class air travel, where comfort was more important than speed and payload. The Brabazon report proposed four adaptions of existing aircraft and five new types. The Type 1 design became the Bristol Brabazon, the largest aeroplane built in Britain, which flew in 1949, although the more powerful American Convair had first flown three years earlier. Convair sold 400, only one Brabazon was built and no paying passenger was ever flown there. Graham White called the Brabazon a powered glider. Brabazon again confirming that a pig can fly. Type 2B developed into the successful Vickers Viscount. Type 4 became the de Havilland Comet, the world's first jet passenger aircraft. Fatigue failure causing delayed reintroduction, allowing the Boeing 707 to catch up. Type 5B became the de Havilland Dove to replace the Dragon Rapide. 544 were built over 22 years. The Brabazon Committee was essentially a failure. All the major designs proposed suffer from protracted development periods 
at a time when airliners were needed quickly to compete with the American products. This was largely due to the time required to develop the new jet engines, but also due to failures of the Brabazon specifications, poor decision making of the manufacturer and various UK government ministers involved, plus an amount of prejudice on the part of BOAC, the major customer whose input was not often requested. Post-war, Brabazon went on to involvement in management of yachting, golfing, flying and automobile clubs. He died in 1964. So that was the story about Brabazon. Thank you.